Hi everyone, you are listening to the IoT Forge News Digest. I'm your host Pavel Koshlev, and this is episode 19. Today, Home Assistant turns 12. A humanoid that quietly phones China every 5 minutes. MIT and Toyota build physics aware virtual scenes. And Wi Fi that checks your heart rate. Let's connect the dots. 12 years. That's how long Home Assistant has been running. And that's a rare milestone in smart home software. On September 17th, the teams marked the anniversary with a blog post. It's still the standout example of open source automation, flexible, customizable, and driven by a huge community of integrations. Why it matters? Longevity first. 12 years of continuous development signals real resilience. You can trust it for long-term projects. Second, flexibility. The platform handles a messy mix of devices and use cases at scale. Third, hardware fit. For years, the Raspberry Pi has been the go-to starting point. Cheap, approachable, endless tutorials. But heavy workflows like frequent USB home builds or HAI processing can bog a Pi down. That's where stronger platforms shine. A budget x86 mini PC delivers smoother, more reliable performance. And RM isn't just Pi anymore. Apple Silicon Max, or Droid boards, Rock Pro 64, even iron based NAS devices are increasingly common. Beauty is, Home Assistant runs on all of them as Home Assistant Operation System in Docker or Debian or Ubuntu, inside Proxmox or VMware, even on Unraid or Synology NAS. I've run it for four years, rock solid. I started on a Raspberry Pi 3. Worked fine until heavy ESP home compilers froze the system. Switched to a uh, use Lenovo ThinkCenter, Intel i5, plenty of RAM. Cost me around a hundred bucks. Smooth ever since. No slowdowns. A perfect dedicated box. That's why we keep covering it here. Home Assistant is alive, evolving, and keep delivering. So. 12 years of solid open source. Now compare that to a humanoid robot that calls home every 5 minutes. Researchers at Alias Robotics dug into Unity G1. What they found? Weak Bluetooth onboarding, hard-coded encryption keys reused across devices, and covered transmission to servers in China, like clockwork, every 5 minutes. They reverse engineered the firmware, mapped internal communications, and warned a remote attacker could seize control. Even used the robot as a pivot for broader network attacks. Why it matters? Silent data exfiltration is a problem anywhere. In homes, in enterprise, in critical infrastructure. And when one set of hard-coded keys is reused across all devices, a single brick becomes a mass brick. For context. The G1 has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, depth camera, 3D LiDAR, over-the-air updates. It weighs about 35 kilos, runs 23 joint motors. You can literally order one online, price tag around $21,600, free delivery. And suddenly you've got a homonoid in your living room. Not a toy. Community tinkering cuts both ways. Even if you are not trying to hack it, someone else might. As the authors put it, securing humanoid robots require paradigm shift towards adaptive cybersecurity AI frameworks. All right, let's shift gears from creepy to constructive, from security gaps to safety in training. Robots don't just need code, they need worlds to practice in and MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory with Toyota Research Institute is building a way to generate those worlds on demand. It's called Steerable Scene Generation. The system steers diffusion models to build physics-aware 3D environments for robots training. Pushed on Archive in May, it was trained on 44 million 3D rooms. 
It arranges assets in lifelike, physically feasible scenes. Under the hood, Monte Carlo Tree Search, the same strategy search used in AlphaGo, plus reinforcement learning and text prompts to guide what goes where. If scenes that fit prompts better than parameters like midifusion or diffusing, accuracy hits 98% for pantry shells, 86% for messy breakfast tables, at least 10 points better than the baseline. And the system scales beyond its training distribution. So today it's still a proof of concept with a fixed asset library. Why it matters? Faster, cheaper, task line data shrinks the seem to real gap. Engineers can steer towards edge cases and boost robustness. The limits, no articulated objects yet, fixed assets, also points straight to the next opportunities. Or oh, as lead author Nicholas Pfaff put it, we are the first to apply Monte Carlo tree search to scene generation by framing the task as a sequential decision-making process. From training robots in the virtual world to sensing humans in the real one, engineers at University of California Santa Cruz built Pulse5, a system that reads heart rate using nothing more than Wi-Fi signals and a machine learning model. No variables, no sensors strapped on. Announced September 2nd at the International Conference on Distributed Computing in Smart System and IoT. Here what they showed. 118 participants. Clinical level accuracy at up to 3 meters. Hardware, ultra low cost, ESP32 models, Raspberry Pi boards. Error margin about half a bit per minute after just 5 seconds. Robust across 17 body positions, sitting, standing, lying down, even walking. They built their own dataset with ESP32s and oximeters and validated against a Brazilian dataset collected with Raspberry Pi devices, one of the largest Wi-Fi heart monitoring datasets so far. As researchers put it, because of the machine learning model, distance basically had no effect on performance. Why it matters? Low-cost, intrusive vital monitoring in places where variables or clinical gear aren't practical. Commodity chips, 5 to 30 dollars, mean broad access for low-resource homes and clinics. But it also raises questions. Privacy, performance in the wild, regulatory hurdles. So, today we covered home assistance, open source durability at wealth, security flows in a consumer humanoid, AI that builds physics-aware training worlds, and Wi-Fi that can track your heartbeat. As software reaches deeper into the physical world, trust comes from design discipline, secure by default, testable at scale, honest about trade-offs. If that resonates, subscribe and share this with a teammate. Keep connected. See you next time. Bye-bye.